All right, hello everyone. This is Day Trader Rockstar, and I'm just going to do a fast little educational video here and talk about uh, some trading uh, styles and um, techniques here. Um, we have a, uh, a nice little um, chart here of Constellation Brands STZ, and uh, you know I'm just you know messing around with the chart here. I actually had one of the listeners up and was asking some questions. I'm going over some things with him, and we're going over some charts, and I'm noticing you know an interesting uh, channel here and it just brings up a good point so I wanted to get this point across you, if you notice a, a stock that trades in a channel usually stocks that trade in channels tend to trade in channels meaning um, you know a channel is um, you know my best definition right off the bat here you can put two trend lines downward or upward trend lines equal distance apart and you see uh, the stock trade up against the upper trend line to the, down, the bottom trend line, back up to the upper trend line to the bottom trend line. So here you see we start off there, we push up to the upper trend line, back down to the bottom trend line, back up to the upper trend line to the bottom trend line. And all of a sudden you have a break of the downward trend line. And that's basically what we see as a, a change of trend. Now, if a tr a tr you know, and automatically you can start to see that same type of pattern here in, in Constellation Brands. So even if I'm not even looking at this, and I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, all right, if I, would, if I came to this point, you remember you need two points to make a line, basically. And if I move this trade back, and we kind of like back tested this a little, just to call it's just called back testing. Um, let me move this chart up here a little. And we could back test this a little and just say, all right, the trade's going on, and we're, we're moving this trade up. All of a sudden we see... Uh, two lines. We have a high here and we pull back and we have another higher high here and a pullback. Now at that point I could actually put my trend line in. All right, we have an upper trend line um, established. So we know that this upper trend line is established and that's an area where we probably have a good good profit uh, projection or a pullback happening. And then all of a sudden you get a bounce here. So you have a trend line starting. Now you have a channel line developing. And the important thing is to remember to, to respect this. There's no reason to get into this trade halfway into this channel. If you could hold out and trade in a channel, wait until your channel lines are tested, you increase your probability of a successful trade probably by 70%. Especially if, a tra if you look back at the history of a, um, a pattern or a stock that trades in a channel, you'll, you'll know that, you know, the powers that be know how to make money, and a stock doesn't just trade in a channel for no reason at all. There's reasons why certain um, trading patterns happen, and you got to take you have to see that, and you have to take advantage of that. So as we as we follow this trade along here, we actually see that uh, Constellation Brands is still in this channel at this point, and we're right back at the lower part of the channel here. So um, just to know, just you know, an important important um, lesson to learn is. Do not rush into your trade. If you're seeing a channel being traded, wait until the lower part of the channel to take your buys and the upper part of the channel to take your sells. Simple as that is going to save you a lot of money, and um, I think that's just a great lesson to learn. Just a tool of the trade. You follow the tools. You have the discipline and the patience. You add to your pr profit potential greatly. It's like uh, you know, waiting for your pitch, waiting for anything. You have the patience. You take the best entry. You take your profits into strength, and you continually profit from the market, and you become a successful trader. You take a trade because uh, out of boredom or whatever, you're going to constantly uh, get ch chewed up and um, spit out. So uh, that's just a little uh, trading tip I want to show you. I hope you enjoyed that.